Arnie? Uh, well, let's. We're gonna read the word, right? Which one did you want to read? I'm getting there. Psalm 27. We were, we've been reading this every week, so I think it's yeah. God's idea. Uh-huh. So. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is on now. Uh-huh. So let's turn to Psalm 27. And I'm sure he's going to read it out of the New King James or something very close. Mm-hmm. You know what? Take this opportunity to memorize it. You know, it's always easy to, to, easy to memorize. Well, let me just say it's not always the easiest, but if you read or memorize from the King James Version, yes. it is in Elizabethan, you yeah. know, and it is, has a sing, the easiest it see. has a sing-songy yeah, thing right to it that you can there. memorize so fairly quick, easily. Plus, you will, yeah, hopefully most of us, <laughs> heard it when we were young, and so we just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, right? So, let's, you know, let's take this opportunity and we'll just memorize it. Now, Connie, is this New King James? That's King James. King James. King James, okay. Go, go, you want New King James? The modern King James is too over. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I love that. That's a quick change. <laughs> okay, New King James, let's read. Yes, go ahead, brother. Psalm 27. And read with him if you'd like. Yes. Psalm 27, an exuberant declaration of faith. Yeah. The Lord is my, my life, life and, and my, my salvation. salvation. Who who shall shall I fear? Fear? The, the Lord, Lord is the strength of my life. life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked and my enemies 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 and
we trust in the Lord. And he, you know what? Jesus, Jesus just wants us to stand up and say, Lord, the, you know, the scripture is um, accused, or, uh, um, agree quickly with your adversary, right? Yep. Yes. Agree quickly. Yep, he's probably right, Lord. But I stand under the blood of Jesus, yeah. right? Yeah. And I took Amen. the forgiveness of heaven. So therefore, I stand with the blood of Jesus Amen. and the forgiveness and the redemption of Jesus. Amen. And we say that accuser has no right anymore. Thank you, Lord, that you have opened the door for us to have access to the throne of heaven. Yes. Father, thank you that we don't have to worry. Yes. Because we have, we have access. We can come boldly before the throne of grace thank and you, ask what we will and we thank you father for putting every lie that the enemy has brought against us under your feet we give you glory and father we say thank you for your redemption thank you for your prayer we just give you all glory yes. all praise thank all you, honor your name is high above all names thank you lord thank you lord i just wanted to show these real quick because they're absolutely beautiful i i just got these scarves in so they're just 20 bucks so if you want one i don't i own a limited supply right now but they i know i just love them so um and also, don't forget calendars because it's that time. This is, and this Feast of Trumpets yeah. is on the way. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for all the show far. Yeah. So praise the Lord. How good is that? How good is that? Does anybody else have a scripture you woke up this morning with or you've been saying over and over? I'd love to read more. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. You love the word. I was listening mm -hmm. to Matthew this morning. Mm -hmm. Don't you just love how he taught us? So good. I have. Okay, go one. ahead, brother. This is Romans 5 8 through 10. Romans 5 8 through 10. But God demonstrates his love for us by the fact that the Messiah died for us yes. while we were still oh, sinners. Jesus. Now that we have been justified by his blood, Yes. How much more will we be saved from the wrath through him? Yes. He saved sinners when we were sinners, but now we are believers, and he yes. saves us even more. Thank yes. you, Lord. Oh, For if we, were, while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, will we be saved by his life? Amen. Amen. Keep going. Uh, and not only that. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm up here now. Oh, are you up here? Okay, keep going. And now, and not only so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the reconciliation. Yes. Therefore, even though it, one man sin, through one man sin entered into the world, through one man through sin, one. sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And so death passed on all men inasmuch as all sinned. Mm -hmm. For until the law, sin was in the world, but sin was not counted or imputed when there was no law. That's right. But death yeah. reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who had not sinned in the likeness of the transgression of Adam, mm -hmm. who is the type of him who was to come. But the free gift shall not be also like the offense. Amen. For if by the offense of one man many died, much more the grace of God, the gift in grace, which is of one man, Jesus Christ, abounded to many. Oh, Lord, thank you so much for this. This is your grace given to us. We just love it. Thank you, Lord. We love you. This free gift shall not be as by one having sinned. For indeed the judgment was of one to condemn us to condemnation but the free gift is of many offenses to justification so whatever we've done lord you've forgiven yes. you don't even remember it so thank you thank you thank you thank you for if by one man's offense death reigned by one much more they who receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one jesus christ just dawned on me that the enemy is the one who has to bring it up because Jesus yes. has forgotten. Exactly. So it's, it's the gone. same way with us. 
It's the mm -hmm. same way. If the sin or something comes back from your past before you knew Jesus, before you asked forgiveness, before, you know, then you have the right and the authority to say, no, you're a liar. So and the responsibility to, to, and the to say, responsibility. we Amen. have to say it. We have, to, have say to say it. No, yes. I'm not accepting it. No. It's been forgiven by the blood. And you know, I just say thank you. You know, whenever he wants to say something, the enemy wants to say, I'm just like, thank you, Jesus. Right. You know what? The right. more you give glory to God, he, the less he's like apt to bring it up. <laughs> That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's yes. Right. yes. Yes. Like, yes. Oh my! That was a punch from the enemy. <laughs> from exactly. God. The, the more we punch, punch back and tell him, "No, you don't That's got right. it," the no. less he'll bother us. <laughs> That's right. Therefore, as by one offense sentence came on all men, but to condemnation, even so, by the righteousness of one, the free, free gift, gift came to all men, to justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be oh, made thank righteous. God. Thank, thank you, Lord. God. But the law entered so that the offense might abound, so that we would know we're sinners now right. because of the law. We know that. Right. But where the sin abounded, the yes. grace of Jesus did so much more abound. And everything is gone if we know and believe yes. Him and trust thank Him. You. Let's yes. just say thank, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, thank for, thank you for Your Holy Spirit thank filling us Spirit. so we don't remember these things. And so that when the enemy tries to bring them up, we say no. We're covered by the blood. Your blood, Jesus. Your blood. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 I just sense like there's a glory cloud in the room this morning. There is. And it's like multiple colors. And it's really funny because I thought, well, is it that color? But it's not. It's like iridescent greens and blues and pinks and yellows but it's beautiful over us this morning yeah. Father, thank, we you, just thank, you. thank you thank you lord the covering of the holy yes. spirit that is above us and around us and surrounds us each one oh father envelop us this morning with the spirit of god we thank you lord for the anointing of the holy spirit that is flowing through this room we give you glory it's for all of us nobody is left out the heavy anointing can yes. fall on each one of us here. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You're so welcome here. Come on, let's pray. Your name is high above all names. Your name is the only one. In honor in this place, Lord, you are the king. Glory to the one true God. Glory. Glory, glory, glory. Boy, we can't say thank you enough, can we? Romans 8. <laughs> glory to God. Was it Romans 8 that we just read? Five. Or five. That was five. I was Romans 8 too. So good. Glory. Let's just read. Let's skip over to Romans 8 and let's read it because it's so powerful. Because we are free. Yes. We are free because he has made us free. Amen. Praise the Lord. Stephanie, may I yes. just, because you yes. talked about the glory coming yes. in, and colors Please. mean something. Yes, yes. amen. And so you amen. said green. Green means eternal life. Yes. yes. New yes. life. Yes, amen. Bigger. Yes. Prosperity. Yes. So this yes. is what you put your faith in to believe, yes. to receive. Yes. Because Lord, the name, yes. it is an it, uh, identification of what he's releasing for yes. you. Yes. So yes. you engage your faith with the word, yes. that yes. Has the prophetic word that's a living word. And yes. it's the now word right now yes. because the glory is to be in, embraced and received. Yes. Okay? Yes. So I just want to encourage you. Green is eternal. Life. Yes. Thank you, Lord. New Thank life, Lord. vigor, prosperity, yes. mercy, Lord. grace, yes. restoration, yes. healing, yes. growth, wholeness. Yes. Yes. God's holy seed. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. New beginning. Spiritual privilege and uh, spiritual life. Yes. And the blue, the blue means reveals God. The glory of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Divine revelation. Yes. It's truth. Grace, divinity.
authority, the priesthood, yes. authority, yes. Messiah, yes. power of the Holy Spirit, yes. heaven, heavenly character and overcoming, yes. and the a yellow means shakana glory. Yes. We just thank you, Lord God. We open our hearts up. Lord, we believe with our hearts. Yes. Well, Lord, we make a conscious decisions with our mind. We believe your glory is here, and we reach into the glory realm, and we bring it into the now by faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the very evidence of things not seen. Your manifest the glory is in here because Christ is the manifested glory and Christ in us is the very hope and anticipation we will experience his glory now yes. with the praise and glory of your name yes. Jesus Yeshua HaMashiach thank you Lord okay I'm reminded I went to the dentist this week I told Sandra yesterday I went to the dentist this week and I've had a lot of mouth work you guys know I've had a lot of stuff mm -hmm. done and um I had been praying for, of course, the side of my mouth that had to have surgery, and so I've been praying for that a whole lot. When I went to the dentist, I went back to my normal dentist this week. She's a she's a believer. Full, I love her to death. She but she goes, Stephanie. She said, um, she, I thought I had three things that needed filled. Right. right. So I had one. So she does it in three appointments. So, yeah. she, so we had three appointments set up. She said, Stephanie. This one doesn't need filled. She said it's healed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know I was praying that way. Yeah. But here it was healed. And, um, and because of the glory, because you know what? Yeah. When we reach into the glory, you know, Jesus heals everything. We speak yes. in tongues. Yes. Jesus heals everything. Yes. Yes. We don't have yes. a clue. We don't have a problem. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't actually know where everything was. But she, I said, are you working on this side? And she said, yeah. She's, I said, you know, I think I've got, I've had an issue. And she goes, but it's healed, and I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> So as she fixed this one, and then I've got one more to go now. So that was down to two, and I'm like, okay, we'll see if we get the next one fixed. We'll take it. Yeah. 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 This is why we reach into the glory. This is why we go into that realm, and we say, yes, Lord, Amen. from the top of our heads to the yes. soles of our feet. Let's just do that right now. Amen. Father, right now, we thank you for the healing power of Jesus yes. Christ. And we command our bodies to line up with the word of God yes. from the top yes. of our head to the soles of our feet. That's right. Everything in the middle. Lord, you know every blood vessel. You know every every system that's going south. Lord, we call every organ into a complete alignment. We call our blood pressure into good blood pressure. We all, you know what? You have to have good blood pressure or you die. <laughs> so we need good blood, good, strong blood pressure. Jesus, we ask, Lord, that we will all have good, strong blood pressure because we have the blood of Jesus flowing through our veins. And we thank you, Lord, that nothing can corrupt our veins yeah, because your you blood God. pressure is running through us. Oh, and yes. we thank you right now and give you all glory for yes. healing every other issue thank that's in our body right now, the things that we don't even know about, but you're yeah. touching us and healing us now. And we thank you and we participate yeah. with your healing power through the power and the blood of Jesus thank Christ. Yes. We thank you that you yes. commanded the word. We command the word yes. to yes. run quickly through our bodies yes. and heal us quickly yes. in Jesus' thank name. You. And we command our bodies to lie up with the word of God. Yes. I say to my body, be healed in be Jesus' healed. name. Yes. I command you I to be made whole in Jesus' yes. name. Work like you were created Amen. in Amen. Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Every part of me, my eyes, yes. my ears, yes. my my brain, yes. every part of my body, Lord, every Amen. part of my body Amen. work Amen. properly Amen. through the Finger. power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I call you into alignment Thank in Jesus' you name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Teach me how to feed my body. How to stretch my body. Teach me how to use my body. And Lord, I pray for long life for everyone in this room. We will we will operate in the things of heaven. You know what? In the glory, there's no sickness. So Father, we say your glory right here. Thank you, Lord. Is our invitation to be well and to be whole and to be young again in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You know what? I don't want to have... I don't want to have a whole lot of wrinkles. I know they're coming. <laughs> I keep seeing them, and I'm like, no, no. He said That's he renews our youth like the eagle. Yes. He renews our youth like the eagle. Yes. This is 
the largest organ of our body, Lord, we call our yes. skin into alignment yes. with the Word of God. And yes. we say, yes. be made young in Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Be made whole. Because when it's made, made whole, it won't have all that. So, Father, we thank you that that's in our future. We give you glory and praise and honor. Thank you, Lord. And if this, you know, we call our animals in right now. How's Hobbs doing? Better. We call him into complete Amen. total healing through the power of yes. the yes. Jesus Christ. We need this working dog to yes. do yes. his job. So we thank you, God, for what you're doing. Yes. Glory to God. And William, too. Glory And William, too. That's right. Can I just one? Yes. I just read yesterday in Isaiah 18 about smooth skinned people are the ones who bring Amen. <laughs> to the Lord. I was like, yes, Lord, we're all yes, smooth skinned people. Yes, we're smooth skinned people. Amen. 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 We agree with that. <laughs> And, and then oh. I also saw, I saw the glory cloud as you were speaking of mm. it, but then I also saw white pearls, Ooh. strings of white pearls falling to the ground, mm. and they were uh, teardrop pearls, mm. yeah, wow. beautiful, yeah, because Jesus is the pearl of great Christ. Yes, right? he is. The the let's just put our hands out, and yeah. let's just operate with that right now. Lord, you want to participate with heaven? We thank you for dropping the pearls of heaven to us. Thank you, Jesus. You are the sweetest one. Ah, you are the sweetest name. You are the sweet darling of heaven. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Jesus, for the pearls of heaven dropping upon us. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We do receive it. We thank you. We give you all glory. Glory unto the Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I'm going to go see my mom, you know, who says, we can't say thank you enough. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And that's Fine right. lady. We cannot say thank you enough. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let's Stephanie. just participate. Yes. Ma'am. Along with that, calling into alignment. The past couple weeks, I've been speaking with somebody about the vaccine uh-huh uh-huh they know my whatever yeah <laughs> but mark 16 mm-hmm touch a serpent and it won't harm me that's right if it comes down to it yes we're gonna that's a placebo to your body amen right amen. you know amen. what isn't it interesting that they came out and said it was from the snake venom mm -hmm. isn't it interesting Whoa. um mark 16 let's read it and we're going to agree with that word this morning. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons, right? Cleanse the leper. Mark 16, what? Five? Oh, you got it here. She's so good. Thank you, dear. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Six, Mark 16, 16, 14. 14. 14. Yeah. Oh, do you smell incense? Yeah. Oh, pray. I was wondering if this, when the smells were going to show yeah. up. <laughs> Glory! <laughs> we'll take them. We will take them. Lord, Lord we want to have the fragrance of Jesus yes. all around us this yes. morning. We thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay, you might smell something different, so just pay attention. Yes. You know what? So many people are experts on the enemy. Let's be experts on Jesus and know him. Yes. 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 On the presence of heaven, Amen. I want to know. Okay, do you, sister, do you want to read? Sure. Okay. I'm yes. going to read from the Passion if that's all right. That's perfect. Thank you. All right. Mark 16, 14 on the Great Commission. Yes. And every time you walk out of this church, people, yes. you yes. are walking into the mission field. That's yes. right. Yes. Amen. That's right. Yes. Then Jesus appeared before the 11 apostles as they were eating the meal. Yes. They must have been Pentecostal. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. He corrected them for having such hard, unbelieving hearts because they did not believe those who saw him after his resurrection. Yeah. And he said to them, as you go into all the world, preach openly the wonderful news of the gospel to the entire human race. Whoever believes the good news and is baptized will be saved. Yeah. And whoever does not believe the good news will be condemned. Yeah. And these miraculous signs will accompany those who believe they will drive out demons in the yes. power of my name. Yes. They will speak in tongues. 
Yes. They will be supernaturally protected you, from snakes mm -hmm. and from drinking anything poisonous. Mm -hmm. And they will lay hands on the sick mm -hmm. and, and heal, heal them. them. Thank yeah. you, Lord. After saying these things, Jesus lift, was lifted up into heaven and sat down at the place of honor at the right hand of God. Yes. And the apostles went out announcing the good news everywhere as the Lord himself consistently con yeah, worked with them, validating the message they preached with miracle signs that accom accompanied them. Hey, English is my second language. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. After saying these things, you can keep going. <laughs> After saying these things, Jesus oh. lifted up into heaven and there? sat down at the place of honor. Oh. Lord, we set you at the place of honor oh. right now oh. in our own hearts. We say, Lord, oh. we set you in the throne of our oh. hearts. Yeah. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place yeah. in the throne yeah. of my oh. heart, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Right oh. beside oh. the Father of God, yeah. Father of God. And the apostles went out. Announcing the good news everywhere as the Lord himself consistently worked with them. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Doesn't, don't you just know he's working consistently he with is. you? <laughs> he's working Validate. right now. He's working, working right, right now. now. Exactly, Brother Earl. Validating the message they preached with miracle signs. Yeah. That accompanied them. Glory Jeez. to God. This is why we have signs, wonders, and miracles. You know, we don't, I don't go out going, oh, I want signs, wonders. I no. do. But I don't worry about it. They just show up. Right. And that's exactly. what we that's what we want. We want we want signs and wonders and miracles just to show up. Amen. And and we don't have to do anything because it all comes from heaven. Yeah. Just, well, all's we're, all's we do, this is what we do do. We spur an agreement. I agree with you, Jesus. I agree with you, Jesus, today. That signs and wonders are going to follow me around. Or whatever you're going to pray. Lord, I agree that you're going with me wherever I go. You're taking every step, every place I walk. The Holy Spirit is walking with me. And I know you're working with me. <laughs> and you're validating the message. <laughs> right? Right. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I love your colors this morning. <laughs> you look like the glory girl. <laughs> Joy all over you. Right. Yes. He sent his word and healed yes. us. Yes. Ooh. Thank you. Right. It is just the glory. I mean, it just. It's so good. Praise, Praise Lord. Jesus. Yes. Thank Praise you, Lord. You know, I used to say, you know, you, you show up sometimes and you're doing a conference or whatever you're doing and you're like, I don't know if anybody's going to show up. But my, a long time ago, I got settled in my heart. I was like, if, if it's just me and Jesus, I'm actually really happy. <laughs> with that whole glory thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Nobody wants to come. That's fine. I just want the glory. I just want to be around the glory of Jesus, right? Yeah, amen. amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, we just give you all glory and honor. So, so there's all of these persons are coming in. Next week, because you guys are my prayer team, <laughs> the, the wonderful, powerful prayer team, I'm going to show you what I have in my bag. I went through and I had about a hundred pairs. <laughs> it seems like oh of God. reading glasses. They're just old reading glasses that, they, that, that my husband didn't like. I don't like, and so I'm just passing those on. Anything that you have that's lightweight, that you you know you're like I had a men's belt. I had I had a couple of I had a, a wallet, a men's wallet. So anything you have that you want to bring. Just bring it if it's lightweight. <laughs> that's uh, that's always good. But you know what? We have angels that lift. Oh yeah, yes. I'm kind of sticking everything back oh, in the corner. Right. Right okay, yes. perfect, perfect. And we'll thank you for bringing. The, sure. I, and I, I know I didn't get the email to everybody this morning. I got it to several of you, and then I texted several. And I have a list, but I will make sure I get the rest of you on there. And then I'll try to remind you one more time. But this Saturday night we have yes. a gospel choir. Yes. Yes. A potluck. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a gospel choir? Mm -hmm. A gospel choir is different. That they're not just the ones that stand up with robes on and do that thing. These are fun mm -hmm. people. <laughs> These are really fun people. So we are going to have a gospel choir. They are going to come and minister to us, and we'll have um, a potluck. So if you want to bring a meal, five thirty is when we'll start. Um, Pastor, I have a quick yes. question. Oh yes. Do we need to bring our own dishes and silverware? No, 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 no. no. We'll have pipe. We'll have everything you need. 
Okay. All you have to do is bring a bag of chips if you want. Ooh, you oh, right. Thank you, for George. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to cook for us. Bless your heart. Come and we'll feed you. All right. It'll be fun. We're looking forward to it. They're looking forward to it. They're, they're excited to come, so it's going to be good. Okay, and I know there's something else I'm supposed to talk about. Um, no, maybe I got it all. Glory to Jesus. Okay. Now, let's dive in. Did everybody get the notes? They're over there if you don't have them yet. But these are on the patriarchs. Now, get get this. I think we're going to have the book ready in about a week. So, I will have this all printed out. That will be fun, won't it? Okay. <laughs> I will much prefer that than printing out notes every week. All right. So, today, I just told Connie that I'm going to change the name of this because it says Patriarchs to Inquisitions. We're going to change that. That's a boring name. We should call it something like, um, I don't know. <laughs> I Off, with <laughs> Off with their heads. Off with their heads. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's very interesting that we're talking about this at this particular time because of the transition in Britain between Queen, Esther, or Queen uh, Elizabeth and King Charles. So, um, is that what they're calling King Charles? King Charles. King yep. Charles III. The third. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about the monarchy. Thank you, sir. So I hope this study is helping you guys. I'm loving it. Constantine, of course, is such a booger. He makes me so mad. When I, you know, I can't study at night because I get stirred up. I get angry. And so right now we're studying. I'm, I'm, I'm clear back in doing the um, kind of the 1850s. The 1850s make me just about as mad as yes. Constantine yes. because of all, Civil War and all of mm. the things that happened during that. So last night I started to read it and I thought, no, I'm going to put it up or I won't sleep well tonight because it makes me so furious because we are, we are right. uh, yes, reaping what yes, happened and was laid yes. down yes. during the 1850s. Yes. Earlier yes. in the 1800s, it came in, but a lot of it was right around that Civil War. Mm. You know, war when brother against brother breaks up divide. Anytime you weaken the family, watch out. That's what's mm. happening. And that's what happened. What's and that's happening now. what's happening now. We are watching this um, in a crazy way happen. So, um, and I think it is interesting that um, as I'm studying through all of this again, um, that many of the laws that they passed down, they'd say, well, this is temporary. Yes. Oh, How many times have we heard that in the last three years? Mm -hmm. Oh, this are two years. This is temporary. We're just going to do this temporarily. I'm like, it's no wonder. You're going to see the Jews pack up their bags and get out. The second they start saying, this is temporary, <laughs> they're like, we're out of here. Right. <laughs> it's the truth. So we have to be just as aware of what's going on because um, <laughs> that was going on in my house when the pandemic first happened because we, we brought our daughter, um, even from out of state, brought her in because we were like, we don't know what's going to happen. And that was the truth. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was weird, wasn't it? Yes. That wow. first thing, it was like yeah. two weeks, we'll, we'll, we'll stop this whole thing. Mm -hmm. and, and after about three days, I was like, if the media doesn't shut up, mm -hmm. we'll have this thing forever. Right. And I was furious. I was, I was running around. <laughs> I had to finally just say, shut up, Steph, because I was mad, because I saw the damage it was already doing way at the very beginning, and I thought, after two weeks, I was like, this is a big lie, and um, um, I remember my daughter saying, Mom, just wear the mask for two weeks, and I'm like, no, no, no. it's not temporary, they're going to make this permanent. And they tried. Mm. Are you shocked? When and you they're go to still the store trying. They're right still now? trying. When you go to the store right now, have you been shocked? I've been I'm shocked, shocked at the people that believe they should wear the mask. That are still mm. wearing it right walking now. around outside. What about the nursing homes? Well, nursing, nursing homes yeah. and medical offices, doctor's offices. Doctor, yes. It's and still they know the truth. They know the truth. They, they know, know the, the truth. truth. What were you going to say? Well, I was just saying outside even. Outside? I see people with masks still outside. Right. Walking or riding their bikes still. Wow. Riding their bikes wow. is horrifying oh, to yeah. me. I'm You're like, right. Lord have mercy. Driving their cars. Sitting in your car. Oh, mm -hmm. You know, this is your exhaust system. Mm -hmm. yes. And if you're hyping your exhaust yes. system back yeah, yeah. into your brain, it's watch suicide. out. It's suicide. It is suicide. suicide. Don't, I, don't you wonder what, 
is. Okay. Okay. Well, There's there my carbon the tax. That's right. why we don't study this at night. We study <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but we, you know what? We, our weapons are not carnal, mm -hmm. but are mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. Oh, right? Yeah. And everything that exalts itself against the one true God. And the truth in the, it, it divides, the, the sword of the word of God divides asunder. Every lie, every I'm really paraphrasing here, but it divides the joints and the marrow. Mm -hmm. God, help us. Mm -hmm. We need your word. Yeah. We need to have good answers. Your discernment, your wisdom, your wise words yeah. to say yeah. in every situation. I, we're not through the mud, so yeah. we can just know that we better be ready prepared. in season. That's right, and we better continue to get prepared. We need to pray the government has a Damascus Road experience. <laughs> Isn't that the truth, Connie? Isn't Amen. that the truth? I, you know, I don't think that will happen until Jesus returns. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's my truth. Damascus Road appearance. Uh, or, uh, experience. They will. They will then, won't they? Uh, Helen, yes. Yes. Larry. Uh, just waiting in a surgery day. You're still waiting. Yeah, it's just an incompetent office. The, oh, yeah. The surgeon said she's leaving the practice. She said it's so incompetent. They just don't answer phone calls. They don't take oh, care of things. God. They don't put things for insurance. So it's just incompetence. And so we're at peace. It's just, okay. It's just a wait. Let's just agree together right now. Mm -hmm. Father, through the this is a simple this is a simple procedure that just needs to be done. Mm -hmm. and, and it's is it causing him pain? I pray it's not. not. Okay, no, praise God. Just inconvenience. Yeah, inconvenience. Okay. Dr. Jesus. So, Father, yes. yes, we call upon Dr. Jesus right yeah. now. We call upon the name of the one true yeah. God, the healer. Yeah. So, Father, right now, we yes. command this, um, this procedure to actually move ahead. We command favor from heaven because Larry and Helen, Lord, you know they're righteous. They are righteous people and they obey your instruction that you obey their law. They obey your law. And so, we thank you, Father. That this is going to take place quickly through the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, or they're going to find another doctor in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Father, in advance for complete and total healing for him, for Larry. Lord, even today, I pray that he go, that Helen goes home and, and he says, "Well, look, it's fixed." Glory to God. We just believe, Lord. We agree with your power, and we say, "Be healed, Larry, in Jesus' name." Thank you, Lord, and we give you all glory. Then you'll be a testimony. And yes. will be a testimony right. to the to the glory of God in Jesus' name. All right. Good answer to the little segment that says Patriarchs of Judaism. That is okay, remember where we are with Constantine. We we've had we had the, the destruction of the temple, and then we had this three hundred years of of um, chaos, basically. The temple was now torn down. People are trying to figure out how are we going to operate? What are we going to do? Are we going to go to the synagogue? Or are we going to have church? And of course, Constantine put in his two cents and he changed everything. He, he said, you celebrate Passover, you're dead. You don't celebrate Passover, we'll give you money. We'll pay for you. <laughs> so anytime somebody's handing you cash, be careful. What, right. Um, the other thing is that um, we... so. Not only that, you have all these believers, the Jewish believers and the Christian believers, who are, are seriously working to, to figure out and maneuver how they're going to do church. <laughs> how are they going to do synagogue? How is this all going to happen? So, you know, there's a whole lot in there. And there were a whole lot of them that did, never compromised with Constantine. Can exactly. we just say that? We just believe that it went all the way because there's many... Many, many, many people that never would have compromised. Mm -hmm. And praise the Lord for that. All right. So the destruction of the temple, the loss of the, loss of the high priest, and the ruling Jewish class brought out leaders which strengthened the traditions and kept the scripture and the Jewish practices going. These men were called the patriarchs, of which Judah the prince was one. And before I go into Judah the prince, let's remember that instead of the temple ritual happening or the, the temple happenings that would happen there every day it now became more in their own homes and it came in their own synagogues their places of meeting but they the only thing they could really do was strengthen the traditions because right. they didn't have the opportunity to do all of those other things that they did in the temple they couldn't do sacrifice they couldn't do all of those things anymore so things have changed 
So we have a certain amount of mercy on all of that. Exactly, right? Yes. <laughs> we want to have yeah. mercy yes. um, right. on the Jews, bless their hearts, who were trying to figure this out. And I thank God that they kept some of those traditions, which some of those we celebrate today. All right. And we do keep the feasts of the Lord, which yes. we are supposed to do when we yes. obey the word of God. And we are thankful for that, that they kept yes. those things going. Mm. God bless them because um, many were paid to not keep them going. Okay. So, Judah the Prince. It's a good, it is good that traditions have been kept and that they must be kept, but they must be kept in balance just as all things concerning life and godliness. Judah the, Judah the Prince, beloved rabbi, respected in the community as one of the most extraordinary men of his time. Jews stood in great awe of Judah, and subsequent generations have spoken of him as Judah the Prince, or our holy teacher. Judah compiled the code of laws known as the Mishnah, the first work of the rabbinic uh, Judaism. The Mishnah does not claim to be the development of new laws, but rather the collection of existing traditions. It is arranged according to subject matter. It's written in Hebrew. Even though ordinary language spoken was Aramaic, Judah hoped to revive his Hebrew. Praise God, there were men that were doing this. <laughs> Next to Hebrew scripture, I just read, i got to tell you this. It just so shocked me. Um, I'm getting close to the end of the, it's the history of the Jew. And they backtrack just a bit in there, and I have it in the, in the lesson. But you know they found Chinese Yes. Yep. Jews. Yes. In, now this was in wow. the yes. early 1800s. Yep. Yes. Wow. And these people had kept the traditions, yeah. even yes. though they were completely isolated wow. for thousands of years. Oh, wow. com- had kept it going, and they didn't even know there were Jews outside of China. Yes. Their wow. names. Oh, their wow. names were the same names as that would be in the Hebrew, in Hebrew. but they were Chinese. Right. Goldberg, oh, Chinese like, silver right. Chinese, <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> right. But, so but right. right. It's shocking. Yeah. Praise God. God is so amazing. God is so amazing. Wow. They, they didn't think there was anybody else. They didn't think else. there was anybody else because, you know, China, they there were so for close. hundreds yeah. of years, were completely isolated. Not only, geography is a big part of it, right? I mean, yes. how do you get yes. in and out of that? Right. But um, also, but by everything else, they were just completely, politically, they were completely isolated. So, so. Never, we never want to, um, what's the word I'm going for, um, look down on, there's a word, on traditions. Exactly. Well, traditions yeah. are, right. you know, those, they lit, I think it was, in, in, they, they lit candles, yeah. they didn't eat pork, lit, they, on Friday night, they didn't know why. Oh. They, weren't, they weren't aware of why. <coughs> They lit candles on Friday night. That's so good. So um, we never want to. No. No. Tradition. No. That's right. And and it doesn't say to do that anywhere in Scripture. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It it what it does when you stop, and you begin to honor the Shabbat, the holy, the the you, if you like, if you have the certain tradition that you do every mm-hmm. time you do that, it becomes a real thing that you do and look forward to all the time. So it, that is, you're exactly right. And remember, oh, what was the movie? Fiddler on the Roof. Right. Tradition. Yeah. <laughs> Just think of it that way. Tradition. <laughs> Steph, not yes. to mention that when you take um, when you take the uh, the wine and the bread, that is really the whole piece right there. Amen. And that was done every Shabbat, which you can do it every day. Amen. Wine That's in right. your own private time. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And those were the things that Jesus himself laid down. He said, as often as you do these Amen. things. Amen. So glory to God. And the church wanted to take it away from the Jew and say it's not the Jews. Now, when I'm saying church, I'm talking institutional right. church, right? right. Okay, right. we're not talking um, the ecclesia. Okay. Uh, uh, Pastor, I have yes. a very quick question. Yes. Do you know of any official English translation of the, of Mishnah? the Mishnah? I'm sure we do. Okay. That, that, I'm that's sure okay. we do, and I may even have part yeah. of one or a whole one in there. And some of the some of the Mishnah notes you will find in like the um, some of the Jewish study Bibles. You will find. Oh, right. That's right. That's and and I it's, think um, you've got some Sefer books that might have Mishnah. You, thank oh, you. You're Bill. exactly thank right. You. The Sefer might have yeah, it thank in you. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Very good thoughts. Yeah, it's there's nothing wrong with reading it. Nothing wrong with it. Um, the only what would be the problem that we would run into? Taking it as gospel. Taking, Taking it, as, it as gospel. And if it goes against something that yeah. we understand as scripture, that would create some conflicts. Okay, and also 
if we dive into something called legalism, <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. something we're becomes shipping. illegal yeah. that shouldn't be illegal. Yeah, we're so shipping the we, yeah, we yeah, we want to be very careful not to not to yeah. go that far. But we want to we do honor the tradition and we want to keep those things going because that's how you keep it going. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't know, you've lost things mm -hmm. but, because through war and everything else. But the that's Bible so doesn't use that word legalism as a no no. We right. use it as a church. And we often, many church fathers, pastors, whatever, um, use it to criticize what God gave as law to the Jews to be kept. That's right. And when you call God's word legalism, it's so there's danger of. I agree, so and I would never call God's word legalism. Yeah, what danger of what the where where it crosses the line is when it's not God's word. And they're saying this is illegal to do. Let me just take something kind of controversial today. Alcohol, mm -hmm. smoking. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that Christians say, well, yes. these are against the law. Well, it's not. It's not against the word of God. No. And in my, when I was growing up, it was movies. <laughs> mm, or dancing. Or, dan or dancing. Oh my, oh my goodness. And you want to try out for cheerleader? Oh my goodness, no. no. So, you know, that's that's when we jump over into yeah, legalism. Exactly. And obviously we want to be careful with all those things, but we don't we can't preach I think, honest to goodness, I I believe, especially in the South, that we have the problem of alcoholism like we do. Because, because it became such a legalistic right. problem. When when the law is magnified, the really people magnified. rebel against yes. the law. And it yeah. increases it. And you see right. that talked about in the New Testament. That right. And even the Jews would do it. Remember, they would put fences and fences around the law. And then it became so much so that you couldn't put cheese on your... Right. On, on your hamburger. You know, on your hamburger, yeah. So, so that's the legalism I'm, I'm talking about. Right. Not... We love the Word of God. We stick with the instruction of heaven. Yeah. I appreciate that uh, sentiment that good. Uh, because the scripture, the New Covenant, the Brit Hadashah, does tell us that the law is holy, mm -hmm. spiritual, yes. good, yes. life. Yes. Um, and so... In all things concerning God and, righteous, and righteous, righteous living. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so... That's right. I was having a conversation with Justice the other day. She doesn't remember this, but she was having a conversation kind of like this we're having here now. And I'm paraphrasing, but it was something like, it's not that the law is bad. It's that the flesh is weak yes, under yes, the law. Yes, yes. Because all of these things, like many of the things that we're talking about that are tradition, and even if they're not tradition and they're purely law, they were commanded. Right. You know, who are we to say and judge what God commanded yeah, a people exactly. to do? Right. So, praise God. It's good. It's good. You know, these are these are those things we work out with fear and trembling, right? Amen, amen. We work out our salvation amen. all That's our right. life with fear and trembling. What am I going to do? That's right. Now, um, uh, we just, boy, we could go on on that. It's so good. That's such a good discussion. And, and, and we, you know what? We do these things because... <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we do this because we want to work out our salvation in the way that would please the Lord. Because it, you know the blessings of heaven are upon those who please God and serve God and do righteous living. Right? I love Sorry, it. Sorry, I couldn't get it. Such, it down. such a good. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Yeah, I watched it not long ago, and it was oh. Tradition. So make it a tradition to watch the rock yes. that were on the road. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. The Mishnah does not claim to be the development of new laws. It's arranged. Okay, I already read that. The Sanhedrin um, is the Jewish Supreme Court. It was called the Sanhedrin or the Council or the Sanhedrin Hakadol, the Great Council. It consisted of 71 rabbis. Why 71? Because God told Moses, gather for me 70 men from the elders of Israel. Moses presided over them, and the verse continues, and they shall stand there with you. Thus, the 70 judges plus Moses equals 71. Once Moses passed away, the judge with the greatest knowledge was appointed in his stead, and that man was called the Nazi. And I repeat this because it's actually still... Uh, today known and may be in in operation I, I'm not sure he would sit at the head of the court and to his right sat the Av Ben Den patron of the court 
the second greatest judge who was appointed as the Nazis assistants. The remaining 69 would sit before them, arranged according to the age and structure and stature. The wiser the judge, the closer he would sit, uh, be seated to the Nazi. The laws and the decrees issued by the Sanhedrin were binding on the entire Jewish nation. Their powers included crowning a king, authorizing wars, expanding holy sites, and appointing lesser courts. Every sizable city, as well as every tribe, had its own lesser Sanhedrin. Isn't that fantastic? Um, the calendar. In the days of the temple, the Sanhedrin announced the calendar. Later, the Patriarch announced it. The people did not have access to the chromatic tables, uh, chronometric metric tables by which they could calculate the seasons and dates. They were guided by official announcements, which the Patriarch would transmit. There were believers and Messianic believers who also waited for the Patriarch's calendar information because they still observed the feasts of the Lord, the holidays. <laughs> The dependence on the Jews frustrated the Roman Catholic clergy. About the middle of the 4th century, the clergy prevailed upon the Roman government to forbid the patriarch to send emissaries with such information. To avoid having Jewish life sink into chaos, the patriarch of that day made public the rules governing the Jewish calendar. From then on, we have a mess. How many calendars do we have today? <laughs> a bunch of them. Ma any mathematically minded in ma minded man in every diasporia, diasporia, spora, community could and did arrange the years, months, and holidays according to a fixed formula. So that's when we started having this bunch of different calendars. The Romans have their own, you know, whatever. Uh, the Kalamans, or Halamans, probably something like that. Okay. In Adar, which is preceding Rosh Hashanah, which would be just about this time of year, and Ulel, which was preceding Passover, the workers and the farmers streamed to the academies in Babylon, which would be Surah and Persia, uh, to attend the extension studies. On It'd be kind of like us going to a conference. On one occasion, they numbered as many as 12,000. Jews wow. would give up two months to concentrate and study under the direction of famous scholars. Thus, they became familiar with the latest decisions in Jewish law and with the latest interpretations of Jewish life. Thank God they did this, because much would have been lost. In this way, the entire Jewish community of the land became united in heart, thought, and observance. This gathering was called the Kala. The Rabbinical Academies, or the Yeshiva of Modern Israel, has revived the Kala month and tradition. That's cool to know. The courses are held in the month of Yulel prior to the New Year, Yom Shrura, lasting for three to four days. And that's today. The Talmud, around, which is the Oral Torah, remember, around 450 AD, Jewish knowledge had been expanding. Rav Ashi became the head of the academy in Surah, began to compile the Talmud. The material, understanding points of the law, ethics, history, and legend, lectures of famous rabbis from history. Although Ashi died before the work was completed, his successors continued to work in its near completion by the year 470 AD. About this time, a new wave of persecution swept over the Persian Empire and deeply affected the com Jewish community. Uh, so thank God they had written this down. Um, down below it's going to say, uh, a number of teachers were executed during this persecution. When order was restored, the Talmud was completed around 500 AD. It might have become even a bigger work had the work not been interrupted. Next to the Bible, the Talmud is the most important product of the Jewish mind. The Jews took at the Talmud, look at the Talmud as Bible in action, the principles of God's word applied to daily life. Again, it's, I don't, there's nothing wrong with reading the Talmud, and I, I encourage it. You're not going to get, you're not going to get, <laughs> you're not going to get bad stuff. <laughs> we get our doctrine from the word of God, right? Mm -hmm. And we get teaching from other, other sources. Okay. The Talmud kept alive their hopes and courage. Praise the Lord. What is happening outside of Israel and Judaism? 400 to 800. Rome had extended its power over Italy, Sicily, North Africa, Spain, Greece, Asia Minor, Syria, and Egypt, and Gaul, France. From the east were the German tribes, and behind them were the Mongolian Huns. Yes. The Germans were barbarians, but the Huns were worse. They were fierce horsemen, hideous to look upon. Did you know that the um, during the wars, during the Revolutionary War in America, when we were transitioning that <coughs> whole thing, they hired, they hired the, was it the British who yeah. hired them? British hired <coughs> the, the German Huns. Hessians. 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 That's right. Same 
same thing. Right, same thing. And what they did and how they got these men trained up in war was they took them from their mothers because they were very young, or they took the orphans, mm -hmm. trained them in war. They had no connection to family. They, that's, they were brutal barbarians. They really would do whatever they were told. So that's that was that came against America at that time. Imagine during the Revolutionary War time. So it's a miracle that we made it like we did. Praise God! It really is a true miracle. We all know that. Praise God. Okay. Can they I were say pierced. one thing about, yeah, about go, that yeah, right, go right now? Ahead. Today, this is what our state is attempting to do with our children: take mm. them away from exactly. the parents, That's right. make exactly. the state be the parent so that they All can powerful. indoctrinate and force them to do what they want. Okay. This is another attempt of Satan to do the same thing mm -hmm. that was done. And they are hideous looking. I hate to say it, but... Some of them can be pretty hideous <laughs> looking. Like, oh my exactly gosh. Right. God help us. You just see the demonic in them. You're like, oh. Yeah, it's, it's scary. Them. Yeah, we have to pray. And we have to be the uh, downspout around those dear sweethearts. Amen. That's Amen. right. Because we are going to love them in. We right? love, love, um, love. Yeah. I, I'm just watching these things. <laughs> I met up with one yesterday, and I was like, "Oh, oh I, I know what you're saying." <laughs> yes, you that because I don't think in U.S. Uh, people are aware of what's going on in like Norway and Scandinavian countries. Thank um, you, Thank There's you. Romanian believers who have actually had their kids, three, four, five kids that they have, two-year-olds all the way to whatever age. They would maybe sing a praise song, whatever, at school, and somebody would turn them in. And literally, they had their whole kids taken away from right. them for years. And like just because of that song, they're saying, oh, you're right. uh, brainwashing your kids. or But literally, like they just took their kids and gave them to like other people. And so there's been happening that a lot. Wow. And uh, for yeah, a while now, it. I didn't even... I only hear from like Romanian Christians, but yeah. I don't think people here in the U.S. Yeah. ever hear about stuff like you that. You know, it is happening. It's even happening in America it's in pockets. Like there are places yeah. where people, like if you were a homeschooler, I mean, we lived under that concern all the time. I lived under, under that concern as I homeschooled all my kids. I was concerned mm -hmm. about it because I heard of it happening. Mm -hmm. You know, you mess up one, one thing and yeah. in yeah. some states you can really get in trouble. All right, thank you for bringing that, Susan. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> in mortal dread of the Huns, a German tribe, the Visigoths, in 376 AD, they crossed the Danube and battled the Romans, winning an amazing victory. This is the point in history where Rome, the Roman Empire begins to weaken. In 410 AD, the city of Rome was laid waste uh, by the Goths under Alaric, and the barbarians broke into the city by night. The inhabitants were awakened by the tremendous sound of the Gothic trumpet. For six days and nights, the barbarians trooped through the city. Soon the streets were wet with blood, setting buildings on fire. The palace of the emperors and residents of the wealthy citizens were stripped of their furniture, precious plate and jewels, silken and velvet hangings, and beautiful objects of art. The city, which had plundered the world, was now itself plundered. When the Goths withdrew, they were followed by thousands of ox carts groaning under the weight of spoils. By 476 AD, Rome was completely fallen as a world power. So it's just about 500 years, probably 500 years when you count what was going on in the uh, just before Jesus, 500 plus a little bit. So 500 years of Rome. What? How many years have we been a? Good to see you guys. How many years have we been a nation? Two hundred plus two hundred. Seventeen seventy six, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. When the Goths and Visigoths, oh wait, 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 eventually the barbarians conquered every province of the western part of the empire by the year five hundred. Vandals by the year five hundred, Vandals ruled over North America. Visigoths so this over Spain, Franks over France, Is uh, Ossigoths, mm -hmm. Ossigoths over Italy. Mm -hmm. When the Goths and the Visigoths took over Rome, many were converted to Christianity, but it was a mix of Aryan with pagan elements. This had come about through the preaching and teaching of Eulophus, a bishop who also translated a large part of the Bible into Gothic. Mm. Eulophus was influenced mm. by Aryan teaching. Jesus was not fully God. Remember, remember the back when we were talking about Aryan and how they were fighting wars over this? These, convert, um, these converts allowed the Jews to exist and even protected them from attacks, which is really good. 
Um, now we have the believing church standing at the middle of the Middle Ages, at the beginning of the Middle Ages, excuse me, trying to Christianize and educate the barbarians that have now become world rulers. Can you imagine? This had to be a, a, quite the time to live. The gospel of Jesus, Yeshua traveled through as much of, Euro, of the European world, through much of the European world. The British monk, St. Patrick, the Apostle of Ireland, came about. Okay, I'm going to read to you out of... Well, no, I'm not. I thought I had it, but I didn't bring it with me. Okay, I will read it next time. I'm sorry. It's uh, St. Patrick Love. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll, we'll skip ahead and I'll read it next week. I love St. Patrick, the whole story of St. Patrick. He was never a Christian. Um, he would have been called Patrick. And you, most of you know that he was sold into slavery. Yes. And all of that. Yes. Um, Bill, would you go look sure. for the New Mystics? And um, I think it's alphabetically uh, mm -hmm. on the wall to the left, you know, C's yeah, that, and D's of Crowder. I think that's where it's at. It's nice to have a library and a bookstore. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Jesus, you for that bookstore. Jesus has such good <laughs> ideas, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, my goodness. By the time of St. Patrick, so we'll skip ahead and we'll hopefully even find it. In Jesus' name, we'll find it. Okay. Mm -hmm. By the time of St. Patrick's death, I know I picked it up and put it in my... my um, car this morning, so I'm, I'm surprised. Um, oh. And I'm going to look one more time, because mine is so marked up, I'll find it immediately. So I read that all the time. Okay. After his death, the believing church was firmly established in Ireland. Glory to God. Yeah. The Irish monasteries became famous centers of learning, but they owed their greatest fame to their missionary activities. Um, about a hundred years after the death of St. Patrick, an Irish monk by the name of Columba founded a monastery on the island of Iona. From there, he sent, set out with a number of companions to do missionary work in Scotland, and the church was firmly planted there. Glory to God. Oh, after God. England, Germany, and the Netherlands received the accepted gospel, and the English became great missionaries. One of, these greatest, one of the greatest of these was Boniface. He first preached without success. He crossed into Germany, and there he won many converts. One of the greatest gods of German heathen was, um, the German heathen was Thor. Boniface cut down a big oak, which he believed to be that sick, which they believed that was that sacred god. The heathen looked on with awe, expecting that Thor, the god of thunder, would strike him down with lightning. When nothing happened to him, the heathen gave up their belief in Thor and accepted Christianity. <laughs> Using the word for wood from the oak tree, the missionary built a chapel. What a cool oh, thing. Nice. To, to, to exactly. this day, Boniface is known as the Apostle of Germany. Praise God. Lord, we just ask right now that you will stir up yeah. that spirit of Boniface yes. in the people of Germany today. Yeah. In Jesus' name, and we call them back to Jesus. In fact, we yeah. call... Scotland, we call Ireland, yes. we call you yes. all back to Jesus through the power and the blood of Jesus UK. Christ and the entire UK. Lord, right now, while they're saying goodbye to their beloved queen, we pray that there will be a move of God through that nation. Through the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we call you to Jesus. You know, whenever I travel in other countries, I'm, I just... It is so much fun because I walk around wherever and I yell... Come to Jesus! <laughs> Come to Jesus, South Africa! Come to Jesus, Sierra Leone! You know, I do that here. Come to Jesus, Golden. Come to Jesus! I stand, I, we have a wonderful outlook over Golden, and I'm like, I stand up there and I just yell, Come to Jesus! Come to Jesus! <laughs> Glory to God. Declaration. Declaration. Yes. Come to Jesus. Amen. Boniface. Um, worked among the Frisians, which was an ethnic group of German Netherlands, uh, Netherlands in the Netherlands, at 73 years of age. He made some converts and was just lifting his hands and blessings over his head, uh, heads of the newly baptized when he and 53 of his companions were knocked down and murdered by the clubs of Frisians near what was known as ne what is now as Dockham, which is a Dutch uh, province in northern Netherlands. By the year 1000, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Russia be began being reached by the gospel. Now, remember, whenever something like this happens, I mean, which that had to be a shock for people to realize, oh my goodness, he's been martyred. Mm -hmm. But the gospel then runs quickly on the blood of those mm -hmm. martyrs. Mm -hmm. We have to remember that. Yeah. Let's not ever be discouraged. Pope Gregory, to him, 
has been ascribed the style of, of church music known as uh, Gregorian chant. That was around uh, 600 AD. Gre Gregory taught falsely that the Lord's Supper is a repetition of the sacrifice of Christ. Christ died how many times? One, One, time, One time only. only. Praise the Lord. Um, and he accomplished everything with that one sacrifice Amen. glory to god he also taught that the saints could be of help to us and that there is a purgatory the gregorian chant was a way which i love the gregorian chant so yes. is that is that the reason let's see in the catholic is pope gregory yes um so the catholic church um what do they call it there purgatory no, not mm -hmm. purgatory, but when they take the Lord's, the, the, the Eucharist. The Eucharist. Now, is that this? Yeah. Um, I, you know what, I'm not good at Catholic religion, but let me go back. In your notes, if you go back to um, the thing where all the popes, um, 593, the doctrine of, let's see, extreme unction. Yes, yeah. 526, it would have been him. Yeah. So, so is that? Under Constantine, that that happened. No, I'm it would have been Constantine would have been dead by this time. Okay. But remember, the popes, um, and if you go back to that list of things where, that the popes did, I mean, it's that? on um, the last lesson. It's Constantine's chapter it's Constantine six. Constantine last mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So um, missed, there, okay. I didn't realize okay. that that's a good number for that six. Um, <laughs> the the um, remember the popes were making doctrine, making law in the church. It had nothing to do with scripture. Um, now there were some things that they did war over and did, you know, try to find. But around five, yeah, this was around five twenty-six. So, did you find it? Yeah, that whole list. Okay. Yeah, like Pope kissing the Pope's foot. Yeah. Okay. Stuff like that. Okay. Um, yeah. Can I just ask a question? Yes. So uh, they say that the saints can be of help to us. Now, how is that different? From when we say the cloud of witnesses are there to help us, don't we say that kind of? Yeah. How is that different? I always well, I I say they're agreeing with us, or yeah. they're 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 declaring the truth of God. In fact, yes. they may be a, declaring they're agreeing with God, yeah, which would right. even be better, not yes, necessarily agreeing right. with us, because sometimes we get our prayers wrong. But um, I they, I don't believe that they have power to help us. I, other than they declare the truth over us. Things like that. I'm not sure what the give and take would be. And that would be maybe a good thing to study out in Scripture. Do you have any thoughts on it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's why I'm a little confused by it. And I know a lot of Catholics. And it's a kind of a sticking point. It is a sticking point. And they point. never know how to say... Does anybody have a good... Yes. Well, I don't know. But yeah. Um, so maybe I'm not understanding, but... Well, I if the question, if the question is how how is it different, so the heavenly host, the angels, let's right. just say, yeah. we know scripturally that they yeah. are ministering angels for those who are heirs. Who, who are heirs. Thank heirs. you. That was the word of salvation. So because of that, we can call. Oh, yes. You know, we, we can call, call upon the them. But those are angels. Well, okay. Right. okay so well, you said cloud of witnesses, and, well, some, and, and so are you thinking, that's what I was wondering, are you thinking those are like dead people. souls? Yes. Well, well the cloud of witnesses, uh, doesn't it uh, say uh, in Galatians, the cloud of witnesses Hebrews. are Hebrews. 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 And it talks Hebrews. about the cloud of witnesses. Now, how is that different? Oh, those who have gone before us. Yeah. It, so it defines cloud of witnesses, and I don't have an answer. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, it would, uh, what I would do yeah. if I had somebody asking me, because from time to time, I mean, it's good to have a good answer yeah. because yes, these, these things do come up. Yeah. And um, I would say, um, let's find it scripturally. Let's find it in the Bible because you know what? So many of them have not been instructed out of the right. word of God. They've right. just been instructed out of their right. instruction. Right. And their instruction is not... It's, it's more lined up with the popes and what the popes right. taught mm -hmm. so much of the time. I had a friend that I grew up with, and she, we, you know, I'd spend the night at her house, and before bed, she'd say, Steph, please tell me a Bible story. Because they weren't supposed to read the Bible. Yeah, I know. And so, I mean, we really yeah, had no, a good friendship because I would just tell her Bible stories, and she yeah. was like, you mean that really happened? Yeah. And so, so if we can, you know, if we can bring our, our 
brothers and sisters who I believe so many of them know Jesus yeah. but have not been taught properly. Yeah. We can bring them in and ask the same question. I mean, it's a great question. Well, let's look in the Word and let's yeah. dig it out, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. So, no, I don't, I don't see anywhere in Scripture where the saints can be of help to us. Mm -hmm. The one saint that might have helped would have been Elijah when he came back yeah. and, and talked to no was it no it wasn't Elijah it was um, who did Saul who did Saul the during Samuel's time yeah who came back uh, oh, the prophet Samuel. Samuel. Samuel yeah now that would have been a help <laughs> from Samuel but um, yeah and that was God must have granted permission to Samuel to go back and scare the yeah. scare yeah. the fear of the Lord into Saul because God cared for Saul. And God and, and I know that God wanted to correct Saul, but yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> you're the winner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, the um, the times that we're in seem to me like it's a thinner place between heaven and earth. Right. It, it seems that it's thinner. It's yeah. thin. Where in? Thank you, Bill. It's, well, what were you saying that is thinner? Uh, the, the the distance mm -hmm. uh, I don't know this yes. is just me this yes. is me there's a there it seems a closer the veil is thinner yeah mm -hmm. well it. You know, well and and so I I will feel to to Pauline's thought I I will feel the presence yeah I don't know of those that have gone before mm -hmm. and I I don't I think they I don't know how much they know, right? But I think they know. I think they know more, 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 <laughs> more, than, more than we than think. Us. Yeah. And so, can't they pray of knowing? I'm sure they are declaring the truth. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm sure they are. So, um, so that's a cloud of witnesses that's right. in a sense. I mean, I, I can think of members of my family. Yes. Yes. And um, so, yeah, it's it's a yeah. So, but as far as we sure don't pray to them. Right? But no. We don't pray to them. And no. that would be that would be part of the question that a Catholic would have. Do I pray to the saints? And no, we don't. Yeah. And no. that's totally no. scriptural. We know that. But as far as do they give us help, I have my doubts, but let's okay. go to the Word. Okay. okay. All right. And that's a good, and if somebody comes across the scripture, please, let's, let's dive into that. Okay. Let's read about St. Patrick because he's so awesome. Okay. St. Patrick had very little to do with green beer and leprechauns. You know what? They had to switch this around because they yeah. couldn't talk about how amazing St. Patrick mm -hmm. was. He was a great miracle-working apostle. He affected many healings, including raising the dead, working mosaic signs and wonders, in power confrontations with druid priests. Yes. He went right up against them. Born in Britain, Patrick was kidnapped into slavery by Irish raiders at 16. He was taken to Ireland for wow. six years. He was converted to Christianity and became an intense man of prayer. Later, he wrote that he prayed a hundred times through each day and night during that time. Listen, you're a prayer meeting. Every time you think about, and I tell you, you don't even have to. I just say, Jesus, I'm a walking prayer meeting, and I agree with you 24-7, mm -hmm. day and night. I don't have to be worried about the amount of time or anything like that. We are in agreement with the one true God. And we join that great prayer meeting right now in the heavenlies. And we say, Jesus, what you are declaring from heaven is the truth. And we agree with it. We thank you, Lord, that you send your word through this world. When we agree with you, Lord, you send your power into this world. And we just give you glory. We agree with you. Patrick was a product of the independent British or Celtic church. Never a Roman Catholic missionary. Um... And, and there's some things that write that, but that's not true. After learning the local language, Patrick must miraculously escaped his captors and returned to Britain. He had received an angelic dream that supernaturally directed him to an outgoing ship. But several years later, another dream from the Lord instructed Patrick to return to Ireland to preach. In the dream, an angel held letters from his former captors saying, We pray thee, holy youth, to come and walk among us as before. Patrick was led to, back to Ireland by divine inspiration and not a pope as some have thought he was altogether a different breed of christianity amen Man. returning to ireland in ad 432 with several companions patrick began ministering to the druids eventually converting nearly 40 of the island's 150 tribes 
planting several hundred churches and ordaining a thousand native ministers. The Irish church grew to be possibly the greatest missionary church in history. I, Patrick's own sending church in Britain, which bore a greater civilized Roman influence, was quite racist toward the barbaric Irish. They even resisted his vision for evangelism, but he persevered. Um, let's see. Patrick reached the unreachable. Celtic ministries, ministers would go on to evangelize much of Europe in the 5th and 6th century, That's which is right. what the time period we're talking mm -hmm. about, sending out workers from 24 prayer, 24 hour prayer and worship centers like uh, Linda's Farn mm -hmm. and Iona, yeah. which fueled their worldwide efforts yes. with intense prayer and intercession. The residents anointing that rested on these centers must have been amazing. Many would sleep only two hours a night because their lives were devoted to radical yes. prayers. God wow. help us become radical oh, prayers. Yes. May we become the world change. May we have world changing prayers. In Amen. Jesus' Amen. name, even now. Boy, yes. I just feel the anointing on that. We just oh, say, yes, yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes, that's right. It was not uncommon for them to stand against a wall or stand waist deep in the ocean all night so oh. as not to fall asleep wow. during prayer. Oh, my gosh. Um, the Celts had a wisdom that was far beyond the norm for their era. The Roman fe mm -hmm. When Rome fell, which is what we're talking mm -hmm. about, they persevered vast amounts. They preserved, excuse yes. me, Vast amounts of art and literature, both Christian and secular, from the barbaric tribes that swept Europe on the onset of the Dark Ages. In fact, these monks literally preserved civilization as we know through the mm. medieval period. That's fantastic. Okay. Their, their but, missionary work, they sent yes. missionaries that eventually yes. started like the Moravians. Yes. yes. Grow out of the Celtic yes. missionaries. That's exactly which right. Which then those Moravians came to this country. Yes. Continuing yes. in that same tradition. Amen. And still rare. continues today. Exactly. It's Amen. so powerful. It's so good. That's so good. Okay. Um, oh my goodness. Now we have to go forward. <laughs> Glory. Okay. The, the term saint. Do you see that heading? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This term saint refers to men and women who were considered to have been persons of extraordinary piety during their life on earth. And who after their death were declared officially by the Roman Catholic Church to be saints whether they were Roman Catholic or not. So you're going to see Saint, Saint John, Saint Matthew in Saint our Patrick. Bibles, right? Saint, right. They would have never been called saints. They would have never, they would have said, no, I'm just like everybody else. Right. So, you know, whenever we right. think about, yes, when the saints go marching in, that's all of us. Right. That's right. We're all There's that, not right. one that's better than another. Amen. We are the saints of the one true God. Amen. But we don't, I don't want Saint Stephanie in front of my name. In fact, when they said, you're a reverend now, I was like, Ugh, do I have to use that term? <laughs> because I'm nothing. I'm not any of that. I don't need a title. I don't want a title. I would totally prefer to just be Steph. And that is good enough for me. Because... I want the one true God to get all the glory, right? Amen. In the book, Fundamentals of Catholic Dogma, boy, which I have never read, <laughs> we read that a saint is a member of the church who has been assumed into eternal bliss and may be the object of general veneration. Okay. None of us are going along with that. A saint is considered a person of remarkable holiness who lived a life of heroic virtue assisted by the church during the pilgrimage on earth. True saints of God are varied and exceptional as only God could create them and are simply forgiven. forgiven. Yes. <laughs> we work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Here's what yes. Philippians said. My beloved ones, just like you've always listened to everything I've taught you in the past, I'm asking you now to keep the following instructions as though I were right there with you. You must continue to make this life fully manifest in you as you live in the holy awe of God, which he brings you trembling into his presence. God will continually revitalize you, implanting you within the passion, within, within you the passion to do what pleases him. And that's from Philippians 2, 12 and 13, from the passion. Now, in 570 AD, oh boy, we're going to have to... Let me let me just see how long the fundamental teaching. We probably we need to stop to go. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop we there. we want to we don't want to we don't want to take not take up the time on that. The next step is real important. It is real yes. important because it does affect us today. Um, and and much of what we much of what we go through in here, you're going to find is so um, vital today. Vital. <laughs> it's so, vital. so right now. 
You know, I, so much of our history is so much entwined with uh, what's going on today that we just we just need to learn from it. We need to be up on it, right? This is a great refresher. I hope it's a great refresher it for is. you. It's a great refresher for me. So does anybody need prayer this morning? Is there anyone that we can pray for? I will say that next week when our missionaries that are heading to Uganda are here, we will stop and at uh, a quarter till or so and we will stop and pray for them. And we're going to send them any prayer. Can I ask prayer for my mom? Yes. Can you come up and you just pray and, and ask for a picture? Let's do that. Can I give you this stool? Since you're young. <laughs> we're all young. We're all young. Yes, but some of us younger than others. So <laughs> you. And don't you always look so cute. Oh, oh my look goodness. at yes. up there. We're so you're blessed. Really we love you, dear. We love you. Oh, all right, let's ask the Lord how to pray for mom. Now remember, we're just going to ask for a picture from heaven. Because that we know that the Lord gives us answers of how to pray. He doesn't give us a stone when we ask for a piece of bread. He gives us a piece of bread. So, Father, right now we ask for a fresh word from heaven, a fresh piece of bread from heaven for mom. What's her first name? Anka. Anka. Father, we ask for mom. We just thank you, Father, that you know everything about her. Thank you, Lord, that you knew her before she was born. Yes. You, 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 have, you have fashioned her, fully fashioned her the way you love her. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we bless her right now. And, Lord, we ask for a picture from heaven for a word of edification, exhortation, comfort in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I'm going to phone on purpose. Sure. It might be good. I love your earrings. <laughs> Thank you. So, oh, did anybody get a picture already? Yeah, I did. Yeah, okay, good. I did too, so it's, they're coming quick. Must be good. <laughs> um, I, I saw your mother. She was running. Running fast. Okay, that's good. That's a good picture. Anybody else get a picture? I saw your mother with blue earrings and felt the, like the Lord was saying, I'm speaking to your mother in revelatory. She's hearing me well. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Praise the Lord. That's good. Anybody else? Just the picture? Okay. I saw blue delft like the china wear. I don't know if she has Dutch heritage, but I saw blue delft. Um, that's such beautiful. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Do you know what that is? It's beautiful. China. It's the blue and white blue stuff that you see it's real expensive. It's yes, so yeah. beautiful. I just saw her wrapped in a blanket. Mm. Just being comforted. That's a good picture. Mm. Amen. We agree. We agree. It's good. <laughs> Father, right now, we just agree that she is um, valuable in the kingdom. She's priceless in the kingdom. We agree that she's being wrapped right now. Um, where does she live? Here in town? Uh, Aurora, yeah. Okay. So, Father, we just thank you right now for sending um, angels round about her to comfort her. We thank you, Lord, for that covering right now, that blanket around her. And we say yes. We thank you, Lord, for what was the other word? What was the other picture? Running. Healing. Running. Running. Oh, running. 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 Yeah. And, uh, Father, we thank you that she, even, even in her dreams, yes. she is running yes. toward the kingdom. Yes. We just give you glory yes. in advance for what you're doing there. Yes. And did you have a she her receiving the healing word of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. We agree that she's healed. She's going. She's healed. She's she's in that process. She's walking towards. I. Anybody else? Just. I want to. Yeah. I want to find out any generational curses that she might be running yes. from mm -hmm. that plagued her. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we just agree for anything in her heritage, mm -hmm. anything in her background, mm -hmm. to be uh, cut off. Yeah. And we just agree it now in yes. the of her life. Amen. Amen. Anything wicked, we just say it has to shut its mouth now in Jesus' name. Even a replay of uh, yeah. old things yes. or old things yes. that have plugged yes. your Father, we just thank you right now for the quieting of voices that aren't yours. And we thank you, Lord, that she'll hear the Good Shepherd. I Stephanie. saw. Oh, yeah. Bring right This one. Did you have it? Yeah. Oh, um, Isaiah 40, verse yeah. uh, 29 through 31. Yes. Mm -hmm. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord 
will yes. find new strength. Glory to God. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Yes, amen. We all take that this morning. Yes, yes. yes. yes amen. But we agree. We're on for right now. Thank you, Lord. Now let's just speak in tongues for just a minute. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. Now, Father, as we lift up Anka, right? Anka. I don't want to mess it up. Anka. We will lift up Anka before you, before the throne of God. And we thank you for the grace that is covering her and the mercy of heaven that is upon her. Now, Father, we ask that you that she will hear from heaven, even in a dream or a vision, or or the word of God will just come to her in Jesus' name. We thank you for sending ministering angels of fire to her, to minister to her and to straighten out anything in her mind that has not been uh, that the, the that are, is questioning or whatever. We ask, Lord, for a uh, prepare the way of the Lord for Anka right now in Jesus' name. Anka, prepare the way of the Lord and make yes. His path straight to you right to your heart and we thank you jesus for the healing power of jesus christ so uh, what i saw was um i saw a um it was wooden but it was like uh, an accordion stand yeah. going yeah. up and i just i just sensed that that um she's she's god i don't know how to say this but it's like jesus is coming close <laughs> yes. it's like she's getting closer and jesus is coming closer to her um that whole that whole expanding this this thing of god this thing of heaven in her life is expanding and so we just give you glory mm. we thank you god for the expanding kingdom of heaven in anka's life in jesus name amen, amen. amen. can amen. i share mm -hmm. something so um she uh, when she was young, she took some medicine that actually uh, damaged one of her ears. And then, um, like now, recently, she's had, you know, the other, um, her other hearing, hearing go out. And But what she has mentioned, and then she's unfortunately had cataract surgery recently, and it's worse than before. Like, she cannot see. So on top of not hearing, she's like, I also cannot see. And then she's had some stomach issues, too. But... I wanted to ask about this she's been sharing that so whenever like at night she said now like or even during the day when she takes you know she's been using like a hearing aid which doesn't really help much right. but right. but anyway so but she says I hear this choir singing and she's like it's beautiful <laughs> but it, Thank you. I, Thank I think you. it bothers her <laughs> But she's like, I hear this, and it's like, and I'm like, I think it's from God, but I'm not oh, sure. I agree with you. But I think it is. So I, I yeah. don't, I don't. Well, I don't I, know. The Lord just said through me that her, I, I'm talking to her, and she's hearing me well. That's she, what I, yeah. She blue earrings on. So Amen. That's revelation. Blue so, earrings. Yeah. 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 Amen. So we agree Amen. that she's hearing from heaven. Yes. yes. And, and and I've been at, I've been pray, I've been yeah. praying. So for my parents i'm not i moved in with them recently and on purpose because i want to be close. around them and close and uh however god like i'm like asking god how to minister or how to bless or how to pray or how whatever but i i'm sometimes i'm like i don't know what to say or do anymore and, and sometimes just, our just our simple agreement with heaven is so powerful we don't have to say a word yeah. and i agree we agree with your prayer and we agree that she is hearing from heaven mm -hmm. and let's get let's you know what we want to like we, we said earlier and i'm not sure you were here yet but we were talking about being expert in the things right. of heaven hearing, smelling, tasting, mm -hmm. sensing yes. the presence of heaven and angels around us. And so we believe that that's where she's yes. headed yes. in Jesus' name. And the revelation I got like kind of yesterday, and you, guys, you can correct me or whatever, but is she, when she was younger, she was part of a choir herself. Mm -hmm. Like she that's used to good. sing in a choir. Mm -hmm. wow. So I was getting the revelation, yeah, that yeah. maybe it's God. It's like God mm -hmm. speaking to her and it might like mm -hmm. mean something to her i don't think she gets it but that's kind of the revelation i was getting the other day but you know yeah. you don't 
just join a choir without a choir really affecting you. I don't know if any, any of you have ever been in a choir, but we used to sing, we used to do this huge Christmas tree every year, and, and I always set it close to the top, but I will never forget singing those songs with those choirs. And this was in school, public school. Yes. And I tell you, the presence of heaven is all around you when that's happening. So we agree with the heavenly choir right now that is affecting on God. We thank you, God, that you are connecting with her through this. And Lord, we ask God for dreams, visions, or whatever, whatever experiences she needs to have, that heaven is close to her. In Jesus' name. And Lord, just confirm that. In Jesus' name, we give you glory and praise and honor. In Jesus' name, we love you. That's precious. And we open those ears right yes. now. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes. And we break off too. any uh, things right. that need to be broken off. Yes. And I'm actually seeing the, something pop out of her ear. Whatever is yes. plugging that up is gone in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord. We command Lord. total healing. That's Amen. right. Glory to God. Amen. Well, let's, nice. let's hear the, the testimony. <laughs> All right. We bless you. I'm leaving for Kansas. Pray for me. I've got lots to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> it is not a vacation this time. It is a it is a work. So, um, but I just bless you guys. Uh, lift your offering before the Lord. If you have an offering, it's always totally optional. You know that. But if you want to give into this ministry, you're welcome to. Father, we just bless. Um, we just bless, Lord, the thing, the provision of heaven that you have given each of us. God, we just thank you right now. God, we just thank you. Yeah. I was thinking, Lord, I remember when we had so many bills. And Lord, look what you did. Yeah. You know, for decades, we just were under such the crushing thing of debt. Yeah. And God, look what you did. You yeah. carried us through. We, you have never left your children, your beloved ones, begging bread. Thank you. You always took care of us. Thank you, God. What a good God you are. Lord, we give you glory and praise and honor. We thank you for your provision. And Lord, we thank you, God, as we give that you are going to multiply your kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you, Lord, and we give you all glory. Now the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord uh, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord just cover your home, <laughs> your property, yes. your animals, your children, your vehicles, <laughs> your grandchildren, yes. your great-grandchildren. With the presence and the favor of heaven, may it be all around you. May you wake up in the morning saying, I can't believe how blessed I am. How blessed we are to have the word of God. How blessed we are to live in America. How blessed we are. Oh, Father, we love you and we give you all glory and praise. And, Father, we thank you for the blessing of heaven. In Jesus' holy name, upon these your people. In Amen. Jesus' name. We want to pray for you for this trip. Oh, yes, Lord, this trip. With you. Yes. Yes. On this trip. Yes. On this trip. Yes. God thank you, Lord. God bring it to glory to glory. Yes. Amen. And this is from him Amen. and of him. Thank and you, he Lord. has this for you. Yes. And we just ask right now that the cloud of glory, yes. the yes. kind of cloud of glory, yes. right yes. now will surround. be and surround glory. you. You'll be clothed in the glory. Clothed in the glory. Glory. Thank you, Lord yes, God. You Lord. said that the yes. Ruach, the Holy Spirit, will come upon you right. and be yes, dunamis. That's right. The oh, very yes. power of yes. God. Yes. The very force of God. Miraculous yes. power, Lord God. Hallelujah. That's your nature. Yes, and this is yes, what you Lord. are imputing yes, upon your yes. daughter, Lord God. Oh, God. That she will arise oh, and she will God. shine yes. for her yes. light has come. Yes. Yes. And the glory of the Lord yes. is risen upon her. Yes. Lord God, that she will literally radiate. Lord Amen. God from this Shekinah Amen. glory and Lord Thank God that Lord. people will right. open their eyes right. that they will see but Lord God not Ooh. only see but comprehend yeah. that the radiation yes. Lord God as we see in our and, and people taking radiation yes. is for healing let the radiation yes. of yes. your yes. glory true radiate the true radiation yes. Lord God yes. manifest yes. healing yes. manifest yes. what yes. your yes. cloud of yes. glory yes. represent yes. that there is healing that there is deliverance. That's soteria, Lord Amen. God. It's still salvation, a whole package, yes. Lord God. Yes. You are so awesome, Lord yes. God. Yes. And you have your daughter that's yes. given her all yes. and wants to release it all, Lord yes. God. So we ask for yes. that anointing of glory. You 
say, yes. Lord God, we are with yes. our bare yes. face yes. beholding in that glass, Lord God, the glory of God, the word of God, that you are transformed. You are transformed into the very image, the very image of Messiah, very image and likeness. Image and likeness. It's just not a looking, it's a doing. He works through you mightily. He works through you mightily, man. He works through you mightily. 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 Thank you. Call my dad's brain back. It's a perfect That's right. I call it back right now in Jesus' name. Thank my Jesus father's Christ. mind will work properly That's right. in the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Take that with me. Amen. 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 I want you to see that Amen. because it's at the end. All right. God bless you guys. God bless you all. Honey, thank you for next week. I'll be here next week. Okay. We'll do more. We'll do more. And we'll, we'll start with Islam. And we'll oh, start with oh, Islam. Oh, oh, oh. We'll get that one done. <laughs> Oh, that one over with. <laughs> Amen. Yes, yeah, they're 